Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today, my video is in participation for the Crafty Hugs release from Trinity Stamps. We have a video and blog hop featuring the different products that are in the Crafty Hugs January release, and I think you're going to love all of them. My project features the Love You Bunches Stamps and Die Set. It's a very large floral image, and it's very detailed. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to create my project on a piece of watercolor paper. I'm stamping with Versamark Clear Sticky Ink on the smooth side of the watercolor paper, and then sprinkling on some Brutus Monroe Alabaster White Embossing Powder. Once it's heat set, I'm going to be coloring with Magello Mission Gold watercolors. I have a, a clean cup of water off to the side, and I'm using a number six round brush for coloring. Using the wet on wet watercolor technique works really great for me. And if I break down the image just by like say one leaf versus tackling the whole thing at one time, then it becomes a lot more easy for my brain to see colors in certain areas. So the first thing I do is to put a little bit of water into the section, say a leaf that is heat embossed, and the water stays inside that leaf. Once I reach over to my palette and grab some color, I apply it down to that wet area, and then the wet paper just pulls the color down into that whole image, and it's like magic. So here's how I want to mix up some colors for the florals. I decided I wanted to have the flowers be more than one color. So first I wet the whole flower and then added a little bit of fuchsia and a little bit of orange and let them blend together on the wet paper. It's a very light coat, but once the paper absorbs all of this, we can go back in and add more color and make it even more vibrant. As it dries, it tends to lighten up quite a bit. So I'm just trying to take each little section and go one section at a time. But in all honesty, with white heat embossing on white paper, it tends to kind of trick my eyes a little bit. I really wanted the look of white embossing though. I had it in my mind that I wanted to have the white lines really show up to show all of the detail that was in the stamp so that it would really outshine anything that I added to it. But that means that I have to kind of tilt my head one way or another and and try to find the, the different stamp lines. Once there's a full coat of paint on the entire image and it's dry, then I'll go back in with some more concentrated color and add it down into the shaded areas of each of the individual images. You can see here how easy it is to just go right over those embossed lines and the color kind of slides down into place. This is one really big die and it cuts very intricately down in between all of the leaves. So I'm using a yellow from uh, Mustard Seed Distressed Oxide ink and adding just a little bit of atmosphere down to the card base. This is not going to be many layered cards. It's just going to have this one layer raised up. And I decided to tilt the floral off to the side and cut off the part that would hang off to the left. Here is a little clay bee that I'm going to add into the little center of the flower. And the sentiment on this stamp set cuts out perfectly so you can place it anywhere it's i love how the dies work for this love you bunches stamp set i added a few sequins and the card is finished 
Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to leave a comment if you want to participate in the giveaway from Trinity Stamps. And check the video description on the top line and you'll be able to get to the next stop on the video and blog hop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.